Hi, this is Vicki White here on Open Window. We are so pleased to be out in the County Line community right now, celebrating Community Day here. I have a special guest with me right now, Alice White Bussey, who has been in the community for a very long period of time, and she's going to tell us about the history of this community. So don't you go away. I want you to come back because we've got much to, sh to share with you today on Community Day here in Ellenwood, Georgia. You stay tuned here on Open Window, a passageway to your mind. And she's going to tell us about why we're here in this wonderful community, in this wonderful park on a beautiful day as today. Alice, thank you so much for coming to join us here on Open Window. Let's talk about Ellenwood. Well, I'd really rather talk about County Line. Let's talk about County Line then. So you, I'm here since birth in this community, and we didn't know it as Ellenwood. We call it the County Line community because we were right on the line of South DeKalb County and Henry County. I heard this morning it's the uh, old South DeKalb, is that right? Since the slavery, original, the, the original, original South DeKalb. Okay. So we have here with us today some of the original families, such as the White family, the Shepherd family, you have the Jackson, the Rice family, the Robertson family. So you cannot live in this community and not know about the Clark family and go on down the line. So Ellenwood, the county line community, is the the affectionate name that we call it. I love it, I love it. And you've been here for a very long period of time. Since there's, a lot, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of history here. Well, since birth area. I've been here. And my family, see the Counterline Community Church, United Methodist Church, that's right next door. Then you have Poplar Springs, Baptist Church. Those are the original churches for this community. They actually house our first public schools. So this Counterline Community it's still solid. We have generation after generation still residing here. And it is a growth area. But we like to feel that we bring our families. We don't leave our community. So we have, I know in the Jackson family, over eight generations still here, just thriving in this community. A lot of history. A lot of history. We even have one family, the Clark family, who is putting together, building their own, uh, the resort for this community. Fantastic. Taking the family land and doing that. Speaking of schools, I understand from your talk this morning as you were giving us a little bit of background of the people that were here gathered in the park, as the site that we're standing on right now was once a school. The well, Counterline School. We call it Counterline Elementary School that's over on Line Crest now. But right here, this is sacred ground. We have the Counterline School, and we also had the Counterline Recreation Center. So went from the school, when we built the new school, then went to the parks and recreation, and then we built a new park we all left this and now this is a neighborhood park. But we own it, we are the residents, we built our own houses, we built our own churches, and we built our own park. Fantastic. You know, that makes me, that reminds me of a, a thing that I heard uh, a couple of years ago, unity in the community. And you definitely have it here because you have a Baptist together, you have a United Methodist together, you have everybody out here today. Well, actually, when we were growing up, we had, didn't have church on every Sunday. We would go to Poplar Spring one Sunday, we'd go to Canterline one Sunday, and then we would have a non-denominational meeting. Well, we would rotate the meetings for Favors Temple, which is now St. Matthew's Baptist Church, and we would go to Sylvester Baptist Church, to uh, Marsh Grove Holiness Church, Mm. And we would come back to Counterline, Poplar Spring, and you know what it did? We would do that once a month at night, and we would learn each other and learn how the order service in each church. And, and that was Unity you know, Pride way, way long ago, and that's all right. I like well, that. Well, when you think about the 1800s, like Poplar Springs Baptist Church is celebrating 130 years mm. this year, mm. and okay. Counterline is older than that. It's the oldest church in this community. You started this. You start, let's go back and start. You started this morning very early. This is the fourth annual roundup at Community Day. You yes. You started this morning with a grand parade. Yes. And you, you're, we're now out here in the park and we've eaten all those hot dogs. And hot well, I, I like to think, too, that we made sure we didn't leave the older, the elders out. Those who are 
up in age, but we made sure we had a bus here for them. Fantastic. Um, we wanted to make sure that they could ride in the parade. We had the horses. Oh, yeah. We had the, uh, the scouts. We had the vintage vehicles. We had in and everything for anyone who wanted to come and be a part of this community celebration. We're celebrating us. Fantastic. Unity in the community. Here, yes. Right yes. In, in Keeping the legacy. We are building on our legacy. Fantastic. In the county line community. In I the county it. line community. I love it. <laughs> and you've been, like you said, you, you, you're now, you've moved up and you've grown up and now you're, some, you're in your own business. Oh, yes. Stand. We have buses for us. Yeah. We've been around over 30 years uh -huh. and we have created... <laughs> created other, uh, five other floors. And, and lots of other people in the community have moved on to other things. So we're going to be bringing some of those people to oh, you yes. in just a few min minutes. And I don't want you to go away. I want you to stay tuned right there for Open Window, a passageway to your mind. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you, Vicki. <laughs> this is excellent. as well as Mr. Ronnie Johnson is going to give us some of that younger version of the community uh, history and knowledge, okay? Right now, thank you so much for both of you joining us here on Open Window. Thank you. Window because I, one of the things that I, I like to say right now is because I see unity in the community today. Oh, uh, yeah. Talk to you, Mr. Hewitt, just a few, yeah. uh, Mr. White, for just a few numbers, okay? Tell us about your experiences here in the community. Well, it's good to be here again in the community after so long being away. And it's good to see all the young people and the older people out today and sort of bring back memory of the years of passing God. And it's so good to see that all the activity, people working together, people having fun together, like we used to do. And I miss that and it's good to be back. Fantastic. Thank you for being here on Open Window with us. I'm glad to be and here. And allowing us to share this wonderful day with you here in the community. And thanks for inviting me. Okay. Now, it's your time. Well, thank you for sharing this day with us and giving me the opportunity to speak with the Open Window and to let them know that we're glad that you all showed us the kindness to come out and spend this day with us. It's been a long, hard journey for us, and we've been working hard trying to make it. And as you can see, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Without Open Window, we wouldn't have made it, to be honest with you, because you all help us promote this. And just like you're doing now, you're helping us, and we appreciate it. The young people that's involved in it, that's what we're trying to do, is keep the young people involved. And I think with the young people involved, I think it is going to be a success. And we thank you. Let's talk about young people, for instance, uh, a little bit more, because a lot of times when we think of uh, family reunions, that kind of thing, we, we find that sometimes the young people are straying away from those kinds of activities. Right here in the community, I see that you have, we're in this beautiful park, and uh, I see a, a pavilion down there that you could possibly have a family reunion at, but this is a family reunion, so to speak, right? Exactly. That's all it is, is unity. And that's why we ask the community to come together as one, and that's all it is, a one big family. At one time, in this community alone, you knew everybody that lived here. I'm talking about from one street to the other, from block to block. You knew everybody lived in the neighborhood, but now 
you wonder who living four doors down from me or who living the next block because it, it's growing. And that's what we're trying to do is bring the new people in uh, along with us older people and let, you know, let us unite in the park together. A day out like today in this park, it, it makes me feel good. It, it's wonderful to see us you know, re rejoice like this because it's nice. And it's wonderful, too, to see the older people as well as some of the middle age, you know, my age, you know, oh, and yeah. as well as the little ones running around and mm -hmm. just enjoying a community day. Oh, yes. What are some of the changes that you've seen, Mr. White, in the neighborhood? Well, I've seen a lot of changes. When I left here 30 years ago, it was nothing like this. It wasn't anything but woods and dirt roads. <laughs> yeah. And Big difference people, there. I remember when I left here, they were still playing the music. Mm -hmm. We don't even see anything but beautiful subdivisions and beautiful parks, beautiful churches, beautiful homes. I, I really like the changes that, are, that have been made. And I want everybody in the area to keep up the good work. And, uh, an organization like Second Chance, we want to encourage them to keep on keeping on and keep up the good work. You've done a beautiful job. And speaking of Second Chance uh, uh, Community Service with one of the, the founders of this particular event that you're having, and this is a fourth annual parade, I understand, and community uh, uh, day that you're having here, is that correct? It's the fourth year. Fifth. It's the fifth. fifth. It's okay. the fifth year. I stand corrected. Thank okay, you. Okay, that's fine. The younger one on here. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So, the fifth. I've seen, uh, this is my very first one. It's the first time I've been here, but I tell you, I don't think they could ask for anything better. Someone did a lot of work, somebody prayed a lot of prayers to get it this far, and I know what it takes to put on a, 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 an event yes. like this, and I just want to encourage them to keep on keeping on. Fantastic, and one last word from you before we leave? We're going to keep on keeping on, whether we have one, two, or three people. We're going to keep on working hard and keep on going strong. And that's coming from one of the younger ones here in the community. Unity in the community, right here in Open Window. And I don't want you to go away because we have much more coming up because some of the very people who grew up youngsters and grew up right here in the community are now professional entertainers. And we're going to have them coming up. And I Amen. want you to stay too because I don't want you to go away <laughs> because we want to find out who's doing what right here in the county line community. The County Line community coming to you on Open Window. So don't you go away. Stay tuned. Open Window, a passageway to your mind. Thank you. and they have now traveled all over the world singing. And I'd like to introduce them to you right now because they can come back and give us, give us something in song, right guys? Yeah, Okay, right. let's, let's start with you. Um, my name is Sir Roderick Jackson. I'm right here out of Ellenwood. Okay. And I'm Sherrod Jackson. I'm his older brother. He's the youngest. <laughs> but I'm the smartest. As you can see, they are twins. I understand you did go to school here in the, in the area. And yes, what school yes. was that? Well, um, we was very 
like in the younger days, we was doing a lot of schools like Boulder Crest and all those schools. As we got older, we moved up into Decatur, where there was Mary Lynn, but we were still down here staying in Ellenwood, so, you know. And this is where all of your family is and everybody, everything, and you, everybody. and you just come back and give back to the community. Yes, yes. All right. Yes. What about you? What, what do you have to say about that? Well, you know, that's, that's the thing, like, give back. You know, a lot of people think it's, a, it's all about money. But it's about what do you do for your community and how to keep it going, how to get, keep the youth busy so they stay out of trouble too. You know, so. I like that. And thank you so much for being here on thank Open you. Window. And thank you for inviting us out here to your community day. You're going to be singing something for us very soon. Yeah, we'll yeah, do a couple songs for okay, you. Okay, now can you tell us about the song? Well, one song we're going to do with a uh, um, guy that um, was with us um, writing a lot of the gospel, the latest gospel song that we've written together for his last production. Okay. And it's, uh, one song is called, it's a child support song. Okay. All right, audience, I want you to stay tuned for these twins who are born right here in the Ellenwood community. And they're going to come with some songs in just a moment. Okay, don't you go away here on Open Window. Jesus can. Ooh. 